Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I thought I would start the week off with a vlog. Um, well, my week off with a vlog. I don't know when this will be going up. It is Monday. I'm just waiting for Paul to get back from town. He's gone to the chiropractor's because he's got a bad neck. I've just got back from walking the dogs, got ready. Um, and then we're going to head it into work and start my leg sleeve, which I'm so excited about. I'm just trying to fuel myself up, so I need to eat a few more things before I go. Take a couple of painkillers um, and hope for the best. <laughs> I don't know how much we'll get done. We're probably just, we're starting at the bottom, so depending on how long I can sit for without pussying out. Tomorrow I'm going to go and have my hair done because look at it. Oh, it's so bad. I don't even want to know what it looks like from the back. It's been like 12 weeks, I think, since I've had anything done to my hair. Last time I had it done was before I went to Ibiza, so quite a while. So yeah, I'm going to go and have my hair done tomorrow afternoon. Then tomorrow evening, drop the dogs at my mum and dad's because they're having them for a couple of days while we go to Belfast because um, Paul's getting tattooed by Chris Crooks again, which will be exciting. I think he's having a dragon. I'm sure it was a dragon. Um, across his chest so he is dreading it but it'll be amazing so um yeah i probably won't watch him get it done just because it's really boring standing there for the whole day watching somebody get a tattoo so i'm gonna head off into belfast on the thursday have a bit of mooch around do some shopping might even start my christmas shopping is it too early i feel like it's never too early and then the wednesday we get there i think we get there at like eight nine in the morning so we've got like the whole day to ourselves we were going to try and do the titanic museum possibly i don't know when paul gets back we will go into the shop and inflict pain on me car park up with five quid. <laughs> Fuck, so unless I've got one. I've got another quid. Two, three, four, and another pound. Fucking ridiculous. It used to be three fifty, it's fucking five quid now. Because everybody parks here, isn't Fucking rob dogging bastards. <laughs> You're so angry. Well, it's all <laughs> Such an angry old man. Let's go. Is that an angry stride you've got as well? I just want to do something. I love those fucking people here, there, and everywhere. It just pisses me off after a while. <laughs> Loop me up, baby. The body heat. Melt it down. What is it? That vegan blue stuff. Quite nice. It's quite nice to work with. A bit thick. It's got like turmeric in it, so it's meant to help with the sort of swelling. All oh, right.
Hey guys, it is now Tuesday. Um, I didn't really do much when we got in last night. We didn't finish till like half past six. So we didn't get home till seven. It takes it out of me getting tattooed. So we had a fry up um, and then we sat on the sofa and watched Band of Brothers and ate popcorn. So that is all we did when we got in. I washed my leg off and it's looking mint this morning. I absolutely love it. So um, I've got my dress on. I couldn't really find anything airy enough. So without it rubbing, so this is kind of the only thing I have and it just peeps out the bottom, which I love. So yeah, um, that is what I'm wearing today. Excuse this room, it needs decorating so bad. Um, but I thought I'd show you my outfit anyway. My little necklace is from, is it Estella? Estrella or Estella Bartlett? She does like loads of tiny gold necklaces. Um, my mum and dad bought it made for my 29th. My Nixon watch, which I get tons of questions about, it's called the Time Teller, um, if you are interested. And then my dress is from Pull and Bear, it's just a maxi dress. And my shoes are selected firm, you probably can't see, there's quite a bit of glare, but they've just got the pink backs. I'm going, what time is it actually? It's quarter past 12. I've got my hair appointment at one. Oh, Chloe, who does my hair, is an absolute babe. She does it amazingly every time. So um, if you are interested, she's like the balayage queen. If you do want balayage, go to her. So yeah, I'm going to just mooch up town. I've got to go to the shop and take some photos there and then head up to town, have a mooch. I need to get a few bits for Ireland tomorrow. <laughs> My hair is done. I'm sorry I didn't film much. It's so awkward just filming when someone's trying to cut your hair, but we've gone quite a bit lighter, a bit ashier, um, and I love it. So, where are my car keys? I've just opened the car with them. Ah. Um, yeah, it's quite ashy, very blonde, but I love it. And we've kept my dark roots, and my dark roots are my natural colour now. I will link Chloe's Instagram down below. She said she's moving from that salon, so um, I will link her new salon in the description bar. I'm going to drive home and rescue the dogs now. And I will see you when we get back. Ah, hello! Hi, puppers! Hi, piggy! Hello. Down, down, down. Where's Bert? Here he is. Here he is. Quick, come and do toilets. Are you all okay? Are you all okay? Go on then. <laughs> they are never right. Go and do toilets then. Toilets. <laughs> oh, back home. I need to open these curtains. I have to shut, oh God, he's had all the shoes out. Open the curtains. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and I might watch something comforting like Country File or something old and granny like Downton Abbey. I need to pack for Belfast, but I'm just procrastinating and putting it off. Hello, are you okay? But stop sniffing my leg. Whenever I get a tattoo done, I don't know if anyone else's dog does it, but he's all over it. Like, they can smell wounds. Hello, poppers. Hi, poppers. Down. If you scratch my leg, you'll be in trouble. Yeah, kettle on. Make a list of what I want to take, I think, to Belfast. My hair is so blonde. I love it. I hope I can maintain this colour. If anyone's got any purple shampoo recommendations, let me know, but... I love it and I love that I can keep my dark root. If anyone's thinking of getting balayage but they're not sure about the upkeep and if it's hard work, it is the easiest hairstyle or colour I think I've ever had. Even when my hair was completely shaved off um, and I dyed it blonde, that was so hard. The upkeep of that was just ugh, ball aching and that's probably one of the main reasons I grew it out. Balayage on your natural root is just a dream. I'm done like every 12 weeks so um, it's not like I'm back and forth to the hairdressers all the time. I never know whether a middle parting suits me or a side parting better. But yeah, cup of tea, first things first. Can you help me get the washing out? Anyone else hate hanging the washing out? 
it's like the bane of my life doing washing. I hate it. While I wait for my tea to brew, I thought we'd just have a bit of a chat. Um, I'm really enjoying uploading more on my channel and it is thanks to you guys because you like have sent loads of video requests and said that you want to see loads more vlogs. So I'm hoping you're enjoying it as much as I am. I just really got back into it. I think just because it's got I've got a little bit more time on my hands now we're like we've settled into the house. Obviously I've got loads of renovation videos coming, so I hope you're looking forward to those. You can see from the kitchen behind me that it is like from the 70s and i don't want to spend christmas in the 70s i want to get this kitchen um a little bit more live it's livable but it's just sort of depressing when you come into it after a day out um so i think i'm going to paint it all white oh my god battery's flashing so we, this won't be much of a chat <laughs> so i think we're going to paint the walls for now um do a little bit of tidying diying to get a usable kitchen that'll probably be the next thing we do to the house other than we've been saving just to get the windows done it's so expensive um so all our money has been going on the windows so they will be to get they'll be getting done probably end of october time so i'll make sure i film that um we've got these horrible diamond ones i don't know whether you can see at the moment and they're just they're not even double glazed they're so bad they let in so much cold air so that'll be the next thing that we're doing and yeah i hope you're not too bored waiting for all this to happen but like i said it's all money dependent i'm gonna finish my brew off and I'm gonna sit down for a couple of hours and do some emails i thought i'd just show you what i'm packing um i've got all my beauty bits we're only going for like a night so um i'm only doing like carry-on so i've got all my liquids and stuff in here um this is just full of medication if we need it this is just left over from ibiza stuff like gaviscon and paracetamol and all that and then in here i've got i don't even what did i put in here i can't remember my toothbrush hair bands and makeup that isn't liquid my curlers i think you can take those on carry on i'm not 100 percent i'll soon find out and then the outfit I'm going to travel in, I've just got like a black camisole, black hoodie, my leather leggings, like trouser things, and my check blazer. Sort of like, well, it's kind of more of a coat than it is a blazer, but yeah. And then I'm going to pack them all in my Herschel bag, and then I need to still try and find an outfit for Thursday. But because I'm travelling light, I want something that's just going to, I can whack back on with my leggings so it'll probably just be a jumper or something hotel room um, it got really cold so we had to come back we did 
what did we do? I don't feel like I haven't really vlogged anything today. We started off going to the Titanic Museum. It was quite good. <laughs> it's not worth £19, I'm going to be totally honest. Um, it was alright, but I'd rather watch a documentary on the telly about it, not going to lie. <laughs> and then we did the Black Cabs tour, which was really good, really interesting. Um, definitely recommend that. Uh, but it got really cold, so we came back um, to the hotel room, just had hot chocolate, bit of a chill out. I've had a shower, Paul's in the shower now. And then we're going to head out for tea. I can't remember the name of the place that we booked, an Asian restaurant it's only down the roads we were up at four o'clock this morning so it's going to be an early night tonight and then paul's got his tattoo pretty early in the morning and then i don't have to check out till two o'clock so i'm probably just gonna have a lazy morning here so i'll give you a bit of a hotel tour it's a mess because we put all our stuff down but we ended up in an executive room we didn't even book this we're just staying at the holiday inn but it's really nice um, so this is just the door we come in, this is the bathroom, I won't go in because Paul will be naked. I'm in a robe and slippers. A huge bed which we've already messed up because we've been laying on it. And then the best bit is the tea cupboard. We've even got an espresso machine so that'll be handy in the morning. Had a hot chocolate, they've got the Aero hot chocolates. They are just heavenly, absolutely love these. If you've never tried them you need these in your life, so I'm gonna have the other one tomorrow. Pretty basic room, to be fair, but just that little bit nicer. It's got a few nicer touches. I don't think it was overly expensive. It's like £75, and we've got breakfast included as well. So nothing like over the top ridiculous. It's just really nice. Other than it's really cold, I can't seem to work the heating out. It is blowing hot air, so I think it's just, they had the windows open when we turned up, so I think it just got really cold. So this is our view. Nothing overly exciting, but it's really uh, central great location if you are staying in Belfast. Highly recommend this place. It's quite late. What time is it? Quarter to two. We got late checkout, so I've had an extremely lazy morning in bed. I watched an old western film on the telly and Bargain Hunt because I'm <laughs> because I'm old. And now I'm going to head into town. It's yeah, it's quarter to two, so I'm going to go and check out. Um, I've packed everything that we're going to take home. Paul left at like half eight this morning to get his tattoo. He's having his chest done, so I think he's in quite a bit of pain. I'm gonna go meet him about five o'clock. I feel like I'm not dressed appropriately. I only bought this check blazer. It's really windy and cold outside and I think it's gonna get worse. We're meant to get stuck in like Storm Lorenzo or something it's called on the way back. I hope that's not the case because we've got a fly uh, and we hate flying anyway, so yeah. But anyway, so I thought I'd show you my outfit. Let me just get my bag on. I've had so many questions about this bag. It's actually from Shein. And I think it's like a dupe of, is it Dior, where they've got like this patterned strap? Absolutely love it. It's patterned and then uh, it's got like this quilting on it. Fits loads in as well, which is so good because I carry so much shit around with me. So yeah, bag is Shein. Jacket is actually Shein, but this was about two years ago. Hoodie is Primark. It's just one of their big, I think it was £7, one of their big oversized ones. I'm probably going to do this up quite tight because I didn't bring a scarf or anything. Leggings, trouser things are Stradivarius and shoes are selected. I will link everything down below that I can find still. Um, if I can find dupes, I will. I've also got my airport bag, which is just my Herschel one that I showed in a haul not long back. So yeah, so I'm going to head off, say goodbye to my big comfy bed and hit the shops I think. I will see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's the day after we flew back from Belfast 
Um, not a very exciting day today. I'm pretty tired. We didn't get in till I think it was like half ten after we'd driven home from the airport as well. So yeah, it, it was really good. Nice little trip, nice little break away. Paul's chest is unreal. It's so good. I'll see if I can include a picture. He didn't get any footage just because nothing more annoying than somebody whipping out a camera and trying to film everything you're doing when you're trying to tattoo them. So he didn't get any footage. It looks absolutely incredible. He loves it. So yeah, worth going. A uh, nice little trip away. I'm not really doing anything today. Just uh, I've been to the gym this morning, walked the dogs, done some editing, done some emails, just stuff I uh, needed to catch up on. Finished editing this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you do want more vlogs because I've really enjoyed doing this. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video.